13.13. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to be painting a little small angel face that will go on a 4x4 four four stretched canvas for a Christmas ornament that will be available for purchase at the Conroe Art League Gallery, which is the gallery in the Medley Building, Conroe, Texas. Uh -huh. So I started off with a pale peach and was going around the edges and followed that quickly with a wash of um, umber and went back over that with more of that pale peach. Uh, several glazes. It's mostly the peach is basically a glaze. And eventually I get to uh, adding pink for her cheeks. And that's just the umber. I'm going around with the umber. And uh, oh, and her lips get uh, what is that? My favorite lip color, which is azalea. It's real pretty for me anyway. And this little face took me well over an hour, probably pushing two hours. And I condensed it all down to less than nine minutes. Y'all are welcome. There's the cheek. I put it on, take it off, because I'm just kind of staining, trying to stain it a little bit. And I put more on, take a little more off, and go over it with my little watch. So, uh, anyways, what to talk about? I don't know. I do go on and off screen just slightly, just a little bit, just slightly, just a little bit. I know, I'm way down there in the corner. Egan! I don't know. So Halloween's coming up. Well, it, actually, by the time you watch this, it may be th this day, or it could have already been passed. It could be coming up in the near future, because you're watching this, I don't know, like next year or the year after or whenever. So... Yes, I was requested to do a couple of faces of my little faces on the ornament. And um, so, yeah, I've done at least one. The canvas that I'm using, I had already prepared and was going to use uh, one of the other faces that I've already done on it. But I wasn't really happy with the way that one looked. So that's the reason I'm painting this one. She's going to become an angel. She's an angel because she gets wings and a halo. Huh? Because angels have wings and a halo. Well, unless they don't want you to know they're angels, then they don't show you their wings or their halos. They can just look like regular old people, just like us. They can. Have you seen angels? Ah, oh, they are sweet. Anywho, um, let me give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Hey y'all, so glad you're subscribed and watching along with us and arting with us. So, uh, and welcome to any of you people who are considering subscribing. Please go ahead and click on subscribe and like. And as usual, feel free to leave a kind comment because all us YouTubers really we really do like like that it makes our head get big and swell up like balloons and we get all little floaty and happy on the inside and it shows on the outside because we just kind of giggle and smile <sighs> because we know we hope that uh, what we do inspires you to be the artist that you are, to be the the person that you are. There you can see that background. Oh, let, let me tell you about this uh, matte medium. When I get the face the way I want it, or whatever it is, 
I'm working on, I go over it with matte medium. Uh, typically, I'll go in one direction and then I'll go back in the other direction. And uh, that way, if I should accidentally drop a puddle of paint on it or anything else that I don't necessarily want on it, I am able to get it uh, off fairly quickly fairly easily with a damp art wipe also known as a baby wipe or just a paper towel dobbed it in you know in a little bit of water so that background is painted with a model effect of a green with an iridescent medium and then I went over that with a tatted a put with a patty tolly parish uh, diamond infinity uh, stencil and I used uh, what was it gloss medium tinted with a little bit of uh, magenta most likely because it's one of my favorites magenta and green and purple well I like all colors except taupe don't like no taupe y'all so anyway uh, I put her a little halo on there I cut that out of another piece of watercolor paper and the wings are just some uh, cardstock that I had, um, I don't know, used to daub off something. <laughs> so it's, it's also kind of model textury looking. And the punch that I used is a little wing punch. Uh, it's right now at the top of my head. I don't know who it is, but it, the description below will contain the maker of that punch, which y'all saw a little picture of. You know, it was in the corner over there a while ago. And I'm buttering the back of her with a uh, gloss gel because that's what was on my desk. Normally I would use matte, but the gloss was right there, so that's what I'm using. I'm just sticking her down. And I'm going to make sure she's stuck down pretty good. And I let her dry um, face down onto a non stick surface now. And I would use, I would recommend using um, like parchment paper as opposed to. Um, um, wax paper yeah and uh, once she was good and dry I took photos and uh, still to come I need to add ribbon to hang her with on the back and uh, put a paper backing on there so she'll look pretty from both sides on hanging on a Christmas tree and she's actually the kind of angel that they should be able to display when it's not Christmas. So, um, yeah, we're going to be wrapping it up. As you can see, a couple little close-ups. And here's our closing credits that are going really slow. I want to make sure y'all can read them, okay? Are y'all still with me? Because there's a special, a special photo at the end. Unless you're a scaredy cat. In which case, yeah. Thanks for watching. Happy arting, y'all.